And then he just ran away, <laughs> like miles and miles down the beach. And I could I'm Patrick. This is Herc. That's Axel. My name's Anna. This is Milo. He's a Maltese Yorkie mix. They're called Morkies. His name is Jake. My name is Charlie. He is a 15 week old miniature Labradoodle. He should get to be anywhere. The average uh, is between 20 and 35 pounds. He's a small dog. Uh, he was a runt of the litter, I think, so he might tap out at, uh, top out at 20 or so. My son, my son brought him to me at four months old. And I fell in love with him. That's his son right there. So this um, is uh, father and son? Yeah. He made it with one of my dogs that my son had. Uh, she had nine, nine pups. I took the last one. So actually, my sister, my older sister, bought him for my nephew, um, who was around 10 at the time, because he wanted a puppy. Um, and so he wasn't actually mine. And when I moved back home after college, um, they weren't really taking care of him like you should a dog. It takes a lot of care and a lot of time and effort. And so because I was unemployed for five months, he and I bonded because I was home and uh, I would take him out for his walks and give him food and he just naturally bonded to me. So he became mine. I'd been looking for a year or two to uh, get a small, miniature dog or a small DC apartment and I uh, found him on the internet. Nice. Yeah, and he was from a very, very uh, small breeder, a, a couple in rural Pennsylvania. This is Coda. Uh, he is a Husky Shepherd, so German Shepherd and Husky mix. What circumstances brought the two of you together? Well, I had just moved down to D.C. Um, and I was living in group house. We had been fostering dogs for a little bit and I kind of saw him on the rescue website and fell in love. I'd been wanting a dog for a while. This is my first like real paying full-time job. He just um, learned to swim recently. We went into a creek in Maryland and it was the first time he was ever in water in his nine years of life. I just put him in and then he and then he went for it. <laughs> nice, it's kind nice. of sink or swim, but he swam. And uh, I was just amazed that he could, pat, like it naturally comes to them to paddle, like doggy paddle. And uh, so that was just, that was a really nice recent memory. Coming home and he's standing in the middle of my couch. There's a big hole in the middle of the couch. He ripped through the couch and was there having fun. He was there chewing up the couch. Hey, chill out. He's not bothering me. He's my god dog, too. So. Yeah. He chewed a hole in the middle of the couch, and what'd you do? Took the couch out. I was mad, but there was nothing else I could do. The memory I have best of him right now is bringing him home. And, uh, in uh, the years to come, I'm sure we will have shared a lot of experiences that will be memorable. He is uh, just finishing his shot regimen and we are plotting a road trip across the U.S. but that may or may not go forward depending on on how he's feeling about it. I was pretty sure that I that I was going to be compatible but when you're picking up a puppy. Puppies like everybody. And so, you know, I wasn't at all confident that, uh, that we would have a great lifetime relationship. But it, it has grown over the, over the last two months. He's been home here with me, and uh, I think the world of him. I took him to the beach one time. It was the first time that we were like, I don't know, kind of alone. Um, and I let him off the leash, which is not the right thing to do when you're a new dog owner, for sure. Uh, and then he just ran away, <laughs> like miles and miles down the beach. And I could still kind of see him, uh, but it was really scary. And it was definitely one of those like big mistakes that you just make when you have a dog early on. Um, and then he came back and it was just like really nice to see that he actually 
came back and it was like very terrifying. But I think one of the most wonderful parts of having a dog is definitely just like learning along the way. I live by myself, just me and the two dogs. You know, I do everything for them. I cook their meals. Um, I just had to pay for a $2,000 surgery for him because his, his joint popped out. There's not much I wouldn't do for them, so yeah. I don't know what caused that strong bond, but uh, they can't do for themselves. And it hurts me to even think that they're in pain or anything like that. So yeah, I, I really, I really take care of them. I try to keep them as comfortable as possible. You know, and I guess that's what builds the bond. You know? yeah. Walking with them. He won't, he won't allow nobody to get too close to him. He's definitely my best friend. I'm a Pisces, and so I bond with animals a lot more. I'm, I'm a little bit of a dog whisperer. But uh, yeah, he's he's always there, obviously. And he always gives unconditional love. I guess that's true for all dog lovers, but um, or all dog owners. But um, yeah, he's definitely my bestie. It's the first puppy I've ever had. and. Getting to know him has been a treat and a bit of a challenge, but he uh, he means the world to me now, and I'm very delighted to have him yeah. as a buddy. Although he is, as a puppy, sometimes a bit of a hand. Uh, it's uh, uh, it's also the case that my my age, a lot of the friends that I've had over the last 30 years have relocated, or their kids have grown up and and whatnot, so it's, uh, it's a change where it's uh, time to have a, a full-time companion, and he is a full-time companion. Because like I just got him when I had my first job right out of school, I think a lot of it was just kind of like learning and being patient. Um, and so I can't thank Coda enough for being the wild puppy that he is to force me to learn um, and like be a better leader, a better educator, a better pet owner. Um, I think having a dog at such a young age is really hard, but going through all of that has really changed both of us, hopefully for the better.